Hi, I'm Taryn Dixon from the Canola Council of Canada, and I'm pleased to welcome you to the research summary session today. As you know, reaching the canola industry goal of an average yield of 52 bushels per acre, per acre by 2025 requires yield improvements in many topic areas, including harvest management, the theme of this year's Canola Discovery Forum. A key driver behind these improvements is research, as it helps the industry identify and understand current challenges, develop new solutions, and shape recommended practices for growers. Two major research programs that the CCC administers are the Canola Agronomic Research Program and Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada's Agri-Science Clusters Programs. The Canola Agronomic Research Program, or CARP, is funded by Alberta Canola, SAS Canola, and Manitoba Canola Growers. Additional funds are also provided for some CARP projects by the Western Grains Research Foundation, or WGRF. For several decades, CARP has supported canola agronomic research focused on increasing yield and profitability, reducing production risk, and enhancing sustainability with effective technology transfer. The results are integrated into CCC messaging and extension tools such as the Canola Research Hub, Canola Digest, Canola Watch, and the Canola Encyclopedia, amongst others. The current Canola Agri Science Cluster is a five-year research program running from 2018 to 2023, funded through Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada's Canadian Agricultural Partnership, or CAP, and the canola industry, including Alberta Canola, SAS Canola, Manitoba Canola Growers, and the Canola Council of Canada. Over the span of the program, this initiative will invest over $20 million into six areas of research, which will fill knowledge gaps and develop new innovative technologies and sustainable canola production, which are expected to help the industry reach the 2025 strategic goals. This session, we'll hear from three researchers working on CAP or CARB funded projects. Dr. Baolu Ma is a research scientist with AAFC Ottawa and is currently the lead researcher on a CAP project called Improving Nitrogen Use Efficiency and Soil Sustainability in Canola Production Across Canada, a topic that's especially important with the increased consideration for nitrous oxide emissions reductions. For this and two other science cluster projects that Dr. Baolu Ma uh, worked on, see the Canola Research Hub. Our next speaker will be Dr. Tim Dubonso, a research scientist with AAFC Saskatoon, who is currently working on five CARP research projects, including canola frequency effects on nutrient turnover and root microbe inter interactions, which he'll speak about in this session. Um, all of these CARP projects that he is working on are also posted on the research hub. And then we'll conclude with Dr. Brian Beers, who's a research scientist with AAFC Lethbridge and is currently the lead researcher on a CAP project called Manipulating Agronomic Factors for Optimum Canola Harvest Timing, Productivity, and Crop Sequencing, which is a good fit for the harvest management theme of this year's Canola Discovery Forum. This project, along with all the other projects that Dr. Beers worked on, are all posted on the Canola Research Hub. Uh, for more information on these speakers, check out their bios on the Canola Week website. And for their projects and other CARP or CAP projects, check out the Canola Research Hub at canolaresearch.ca. The Canola Research Hub, which features regularly posted blogs, is also funded by CAP and the canola industry, including Alberta Canola, SAS Canola, Manitoba Canola Growers, and the Canola Council of Canada. If you aren't aware of the Canola Research Hub, this short video provides an overview of the hub and its role as a knowledge transfer tool. So enjoy the next three research presentations and check out the hub after this Canola Week session. Thanks.